What's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So recently we covered a couple of cool Blender add-ons and we do believe that most of the cool and new ones that are now available you possibly know about them. However, there are some new add-ons that have just been announced that might definitely help you get started with doing some stuff. So whether you're into painterly stuff or you're into city building, looking for amazing tree tools or even procedural stuff that you can work with, these add-ons will definitely come in handy. And with that said, let's dive right into it. Shapescape is a painterly tree and flora creator and this is a comprehensive toolkit that allows you create painterly worlds by simply adding your own textures and also working with mesh to procedurally generate the type of trees and also 3D worlds that you want. This comes complete with over a hundred ready to use models that gives you amazing options of shader variations that you can use when trying to create beautifully stylized trees, bushes, grasses and so on. And at the same time, you still have options of working with about six different kinds of presets that you can use to stylize and also play with the texture and possibly fine tune the model that you're working on. Of course, this also comes with some animated stuff, which would help bring your scene to life. And of course, whether you're thinking about playing with painted trees, floras, or possibly you're just thinking about bringing that stylized approach or even anime style texturing to your blender scenes, then you can now rely on this and do all of that. The folks at Traditional 3D have actually made this one possible, and they've also made a couple of cool things available right here, which you can come through and explore. The folks at CityGen have just recently announced the Mega City Gen, and the Mega City Gen is a huge tool that allows you to create impressive looking cities that comes with literally every single thing that you want. This allows you to work with a couple of blocks to create different kinds of cityscapes, and you can proceed to create traffics, animated cameras, procedural crowds, and so on, making it one of the best tools that you can get right now for creating amazing looking cities. This is a high quality tool. And right now, there is a free version that you can actually get. So if you like to explore this to totally for free before you even make a purchase, you can get the free version and explore it. And of course, the folks at CityGen have made this beautiful tool and I would like everyone to try it out and see things for themselves. Treezy version 2.0 is now here and this is not just a tree library like you find with most other tools. This is an amazing add-on that brings limitless customization to your trees and actually brings more life to your scene as this is a meticulous creation of tree assets that you can work with with a huge customization set of features that lets you do some very interesting and intricate adjustments to the tree overall. And version 2 now comes with a new particle distribution system, an improved growth modifier, a branch building modifier and of course a ton of interesting things like materials, realistic wind animation, cut and prune tools that you can use to actually prune and also cut the trees however you want with a good number of varieties that you can work with. So unlike other tools that just simply offers you trees that you can work with, this is more like a tree library that is fully customizable and allow you craft your own trees exactly how you want. These dynamic animated set of trees are now available and version 2.0 offers creators a ton of possibilities especially for those who like to craft their very own trees and have them working exactly how they will want them to. The folks at Blender Procedural have also announced the Procedural Volume Simulation Pack and this is targeted for Blender 5.0 and the idea behind this pack is for you to be able to procedurally work with some interesting assets right inside of Blender as this explores the brand new volume grid and SDF simulation features that now comes with Blender 5.0 and with this you'll be able to create clouds, snows, melting effects, fire, sand, deformations and so much more. And all of this happens directly within your viewport, so no necessary simulation is actually required, as this relies on the power of Blender 5.0 to allow you work with geometry nodes and create amazing stuff. So if you're thinking about making procedural stuff and you're looking at an easier way to do things, especially if you work with Blender 5.0, then this pack might just be your right fit. Of course, the folks at Blender Procedural also have a couple of nice cool procedural stuff which might appeal to your next project. Lazy Decal from the folks at Lazy 3D is an easy and simple to use lightweight stamping tool for instant decal placement on your 3D model. And this comes with some interesting parameters and features that allows you to simply snap decals on surfaces and also add some wear and tear effect onto those surfaces. This is built with speed and realism in mind with an easy to use user interface that allows you simply select the image or decal you like to place onto your 3D model and proceed to place it without any hassle. And of course, like we mentioned earlier, this has some scratch, wear and tear and also blow effects, which you can use to add a bit of realism when working with your 3D model. 
At the same time, this offers options of adding roughness, normals, and of course, some interesting changes which can help the decal to look even more realistic when placed on a 3D model. This tool is totally for free and if you like to grab it, you can now simply come through and grab it totally for free. The folks at Lazy3D have also created a couple of nice stuff before which are currently doing high percentage discounts. So just in case you like to grab any of these, links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check them out. And if you're into city creation, the folks at Gribble Town have just recently announced the Titan Core. And the Titan Core is a sci-fi construct kit bash building kit which comes with a ton of cool and high quality looking 3D models. As this allows you to build colony hubs, research stations, frontier outposts, orbital platforms and any kind of sci-fi environment that can come in super handy for your games or even for your animations. And this comes with a ton of assets that allows you to simply work with them and get things going. Currently, this offers over 250 assets across 25 main assets. The folks at Gribble Town have also made some nice stuff before which includes the dystopian block, the empire and sand desert realism and a ton of other other ones right here. These tools can work hand in hand with Geoscatter so just in case you're thinking about using them alongside Geoscatter, yes you can. And these right here are nice and high quality looking assets that you can use for your games or films as well. The folks at Node Interactive have just recently released the Lace Generator 2.0 and this is a fully procedural tool that allows you create lace on your 3D models easily. This comes with high customization that allows you to change the laces themselves, control how much of the lace that you want on your model, play with the eyelets and also change the eyelets to fit exactly what you're going for and this also allows you to play with your very own type of profile depending on the kind of list that you're working on. This is a very simple and easy to use tool which is super procedural. Of course they do have a couple of other cool things that you can find on their storefront and all of these are fully procedural that would allow you create and work easily inside of Blender. The UV Deformer from Albedo FX is a pretty interesting tool, so if you've ever wanted to make some adjustment to your UVs, possibly you like to deform them depending on what you're going for, then you might want to consider taking a look at this, as this is a deformer that makes it very easy for you to now make adjustments to your UVs right inside of Blender. So all you need to do is just select the UVs that you want and more like what you have with your lattice deformer, that is exactly how you can deform this. So you can actually wrap things around it, move them around and get some cool stuff happening for you. This is a beautiful tool that I would suggest that if you're into UVs, you might want to consider looking at, especially if you like to control how your UV gets to be placed and of course, how your UV gets to be positioned at every single point in time. Our Beto FX has also made a few other things right here which are pretty impressive from the rig flow all the way to the quad pen down to the snow effects and also the cloth effects. All of these are amazing stuff and I would definitely recommend that you come through and check them out. So this is it, amazing stuff right here and for those who like to take a look at some of the ones that I've mentioned previously or the ones that I've placed on our post before, links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace